Hello everybody, how you doing today? Um, I think this is going to turn out to be my Wednesday video. So, I want to review the Ghostbusters... Fro what is it called? Frozen something? Um, is it Frozen Empire? I, I don't even know. It's the new Ghostbusters trailer. And... I will give a little rundown of the the first Ghostbusters Afterlife, the the sequel to the first two. I don't think the third one with all the women was canning, so I will not bring that one up. But um, let's go back to Afterlife. Um, I really enjoyed it. My dad really enjoyed it as well. I saw it with him, uh, and. Also, just one thing I'd like to say. How many people, how many of my followers, how many of my subs are credits watchers? My feeling, is, I'm a credits watcher. My feeling is, for the money you spend at the movie theater, for the, for the amount of money, it's expensive. Um, especially if you go with more than one person, but even if you just go with one person, it's expensive. You get the ticket price, you got food, drink, you know, for the amount of money it costs. And then I go like every Tuesday, so, with my dad. So that's a lot of money that we're spending, even though it's a discounted ticket on Tuesday at Regal. I stay for the credits because it's part of the movie and it's a waste of money to leave before it's over. Unless you really got to go to the bathroom. But if I did, I'd come back to the, to the, to the theater just to see the end of the credit. And also like a lot of like Marvel movies and some DC movies and Pixar movies, they do like mid credit scenes and end credit, end credit scenes. And there is a difference. A mid credit scene is in the middle of the credits and end credit scene is after the credits. So you, you want to stay for that kind of stuff, especially for a Marvel movie or a DC movie. Um, and you never know what movie's going to show it. So, I'm a credits watcher, and uh, just uh, give me your thoughts below. What you think, uh, are you a credits watcher or not? Okay, so, uh, Afterlife, the movie that came out, I want to say two years ago, uh, with Finn Wolfhard and, uh, Grace McKenna was the, was the girl in it who did a wonderful job, and Paul Rudd, and I don't know who played the kid's mother, and there, you know, it was just a really, really good movie um, that uh, brought the nostalgia back from the original, yet brought something new to the table. They weren't in New York City. They were in some Midwestern town and corn belt area of the country, like Iowa or something. Uh, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere out there um, in the middle of nowhere. And I loved, I don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen it, but I, it is just so nostalgic. But yet, it felt like it almost wasn't a Ghostbusters movie. It felt like it was actually like a movie that could stand on its own. It almost had Goonies elements to it. It almost had um, something non-Ghostbusters going on um, in the sense that it, it wasn't as comedic. There wasn't as much funny stuff going on, but there was more like adventure, sense of adventure, and a mystery, and you had to figure out what was going on and stuff. And I guess you could say that about all the films, but the, this one had that more. This one had almost like a Super 8 feel, which is another one of my favorite movies. And so going into this one, and that one was directed by... That Reitman guy's son, because the guy that directed the originals, the Reitman guy that directed the original two, he had died of cancer. So his son directed this one, uh, Afterlife. So the new one, I don't know who directs it. I honestly don't. But the first trailer, it was okay. I mean, it kind of got me excited for it, but it didn't blow me away. It, it, it didn't really show me what the film was really going to be about. But this one, it showed me... Everything the film was going to be about. It showed me that there's going to be comedy reminiscent of the original. Some of the same jokes 
that Bill Murray used and the original were used in this one. So I really like that aspect of it. And it, it just really um, had a mix of the comedy that we remember, but the new characters as well. New comedy from the old characters with the new characters as well. I will agree with John Roca, who did a, a piece on um, a little you know review of the, of the trailer while watching it and then talking about it, that it... I didn't show the kids as much. Are we going to get as much as the kids? I'm guessing in the movie we will. But um, one character I think is not going to be in it. And I kind of am going to miss him. The kid that was friends with the McKenna Grace character. His name, his nickname was um, Podcast. He was a podcaster. So I really liked him. I thought he was a cool character. And not having him, I think, I guess they're bringing in other characters. Like Patton Oswalt's going to be in it. And, um, I don't know. It, it, we'll see. We'll see what, uh, what new characters they bring into, into it. But, um, I love this way more than the first trailer. It just really hit home. And you got that Ghostbusters nostalgia. Characters from the original Ghostbusters. And just really... Truly looking forward to it. So, check it out, guys. Check it's on U YouTube if you want to check it out. The new Ghostbusters trailer. All you gotta do if you don't know the name of the movie, which I I don't remember, it's like Frozen something. Ghostbusters. Well, if you just type in Ghostbusters trailer, it'll come up because it came out today. So you'll get hits. So just check it out. It's really cool. And if you check out my link tree page, you can get my YouTube page not youtube i'm sorry this is my youtube page you can get my twitter page and i've actually posted the trailer on my twitter page if you want to check that out okay thank you for um viewing for checking this out and have a good day Vader.